Hey, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Jedi King Hefner, and the beautiful Saima Renee Uzumaki. And I got this girl dressed down, got a little white tank top on, but rest assured, she's still looking sexy as ever. And uh, we checking in with you guys tonight. I know y'all probably curious, man, on, on the title of this show. Well, it's called No More Mr. Nice Guy. No More Mr. Nice Guy. And what do I mean by that? Well, let me get to it, man. Uh, when I'm not watching anime, when I'm not watching sports, and recently I haven't been playing my game, uh, when I'm not doing either one of those things, man, I get to searching the net for old documentaries and whatnot, old uh, dog documentaries, to be uh, quite honest. And man, I ended up looking at one of those old documentaries, and it's this guy on there, uh, he from overseas and whatnot, he got a, uh, I think he got like a British accent, but uh, nevertheless, he has about nine dogs. And uh, I was just watching this documentary, and he, and he was talking about something that just really sort of irks me when it comes to um, some dog owners. I ain't gonna lie, it does sort of irk me a little bit. Well, he had nine dogs. And on one end, he was talking about how he enjoys his dogs, right? But on the next, in the next minute, he talking about how he depressed and stuff because he can't get a human woman and things of that nature. And that's the thing that irks me. Look, man, if you're a dog owner, you got the dogs uh, for that type of lifestyle, for you to be happy, for you to be stress-free. If you're going to have the dogs and you're still going to be desiring uh, the human women, you ain't happy. Look, man, leave the dogs alone then. Go and go back to the human women because, like, this is about happiness, man. It's about happiness. Don't get the dogs and still be depressed. Obviously, you haven't had something fulfilled in your life because, like I say, I've been nothing but happy since I had my dogs, and most dog owners I talk to are extremely happy. But I'm going to tell you why he ain't happy, and it has something to do with what I tried to tell you guys in earlier videos. He went on to say that he had never had sex. He was like, yeah, man, I didn't talk to all these women. I didn't talk to all these women my whole life. Uh, and he didn't, like I say, I ain't judge no guy. That ain't for me to do. But he didn't look like, seem to look like a bad looking guy, nothing like he could never get a woman. Uh, and he, he retired from a great job. I think he was a lawyer or a doctor or something. But he was just saying like, man, I done talked to all these women my whole life. And the problem is, I can never close the deal. I can never close the deal. I can never figure out how do you get a woman in the bed? So keep in mind, man, this man got like nine real dogs. Not, not a variety of dogs, nine real dogs. Uh, very expensive, very nice dogs. And you sitting up here, not happy. Still going to bars, uh, sitting by yourself. So man, let me tell you something. First of all, no matter where you are, whether you with human women, whether you with dogs, Make sure you in a place where you happy, man. Make yourself happy. Now, second of all, he talking about closing the deal. I sort of alluded to this in my uh, video when I was talking about hunting for humans. How you have to find the phrase that pays with women. Well, let me tell you something nice, guys, because I'm a nice guy. I'm going to tell you what the problem is. Us nice guys do very well, man. Getting to the woman, getting to know her, uh, maybe even getting her over to your house. You know? Getting the laughing and the joking. But let me tell you something. At some point in, into the night, man, if you actually want to make love to a woman, you can't be no damn nice guy no more. That's just the truth. You got to stop with the nice guy routine. And what I mean by that is I ain't talking about raping no woman, putting your hands on her, doing nothing out of line, or either just uh, coming to a point in the night where you just say, you think uh, you can give me some pussy? That ain't what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is nice guys, because I'm one. You end up sitting around, and after you looked at a movie or two, or after you done talked for a while, you already know that it's about time for something to happen, because you start thinking like, hey, man, uh, you know, I I'm getting sort of horny now. I'm even sick of this movie. Well, you know what? When you're sick of the movie, she's sick of the movie. You can even see it on her face where it's almost like she's waiting for something. And what she's waiting for is for you to make a move. See, at some point in the night, you got to define where this relationship going. Look, you got to ease up close to her. You got to touch her hand. You got to put your arm around her. Hey, at some point, 
I'm sorry, man. You're going to have to go in for a kiss on the cheek, a kiss on the ear, and you're going to have to hear her tell you no or something. Because the thing about women is, man, they're always going to want to blame it on you. You, you got to, if they give you some vagina that night, they have to be able to say they were seduced by you. They can't just willingly pop open their legs and say, here, take it. They have to be able to say, well, yeah, uh, hey, you show, you, you, hey, that don't normally happen, but, but, but you, you worked on me. So at some point, you can't be nice. You can't keep looking at the movie all night, bro. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? You got to go in for the kiss. You got to go in for the hug. You got my favorite move. Guess what? You better start rubbing that thigh. And go up a little bit by a little bit. See when she touch your hand. If you get real close to that vagina, believe me, brother, it's probably going to be a good night. Now, even when you start making moves, it's only natural for a woman. She's going to do some semblance of rejection. Like, ah, oh, hey, oh, you know we ain't going that far. But you know when it's playful. You know when it's playful. Guess what? Still pick and choose your points to take it a little bit further here and a little bit further there. Now, you know when no means no. You, hey, if you get the sense that she don't like you, stop, motherfucker. But if she's still with that playful attitude, basically egging you on, that means keep going. Keep going. Because she needs that excuse to take off her top. She needs that excuse to take off her pains. You know, a good a good trick is, hey, hey, look, hey, baby, you know, you in my house now. Take your shoes off. Relax. Relax. You ain't here now. You know, and if, if she over your house for hours and she don't want to take her shoes off, that's a sign she ain't into you, bro. Things start coming off when they into you. They just need you to make the move. And nice guys... You sit back too too long. You don't ask the question. You don't put your arm around her. You don't go in for the kiss. Well, guess what? That's why you didn't make the transition to the bedroom, my friend. And all of this stuff is way more complicated than being with a girl like Callie or being with this beautiful girl like Saima or my other two beauties, Asana and Sunade. You know, I haven't had sex with these ladies, but you know, guess what? They wouldn't shun me or they ain't gonna make me work hard and all those things. But let me tell you, you ain't gonna, in my opinion, if you're a grown man and you ain't never had vagina, it's always gonna be questioned in the back of your head. You know? And I don't know if you ever gonna be completely happy like I am because you're gonna always be wondering what that human vagina is like. And you can lie to me. Lie to your NCL friends. Lie to your, uh, anybody you want to and say, hey, man, nah, I ain't thinking about that. Forget women. I hate women. I ain't never thinking about what a vagina like no more. You're a damn lie. You're thinking about it. And so, like I said, man, uh, it's some men out there that just in, you know, if you're incapable physically, like handicapped or something like that, or, you know, some of that nature, or like I always told you, I think these dogs are great for people that may have serious psychological problems or anything of that nature. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about just a regular average man that even just think that he's not attractive. It's somebody you can get. It's somebody you can get. I guarantee you. And I've always said, try to get that experience at least once. When you come back to your dogs, you'll have a whole new perspective. You, you can be as happy as me, just at least knowing what sex with a human is like. Just knowing. But this guy with nine real dogs, still not happy. Because he talking about some, man, yeah, I still never closed the deal. Bro, you got nine real dogs. Will you be happy or give me one of them? Hell. Shit. Be happy because I'm happy with my four girls. Like I told you, if I happen to trip in some vagina, okay, so be it. I mean, a human vagina, so be it. I ain't looking after it. I ain't running after it. I done been there. I done had plenty of it. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't chasing it down. I'm, hey, if it come to me, fine. I ain't going to tell you if a supermodel just throw it on me. I ain't just going to tell you. I ain't going to take it. But she ain't going to pull me away from my girls. I ain't going to never stop being with my women. And I never from... It's for the foreseeable future unless God changed my heart. I can't see myself ever getting rid of my girls. 
But back to you guys. Make the damn move. Try to kiss. Put your arm around it. At some point during the night, stop being nice. You got to go and make the move, man. You got to take the chance of her saying, oh, I can't believe he actually tried something with me. Yep, I did because I was horny and I'm a man and I'm attracted to you, baby. Look, when you're honest with him, that's what get him wet. I done told you. Make your move, brothers. So I can't walk you through it. I can't put your hand on her thigh. I can't read all the, because it's a lot of subtle signs women give off. I, I, ooh, see? That's the one thing I hate about living in the hood, boy. They just let off some shots, boy. But either way, uh, it's some subtle things that I just can't teach you, man. It's some subtle things I just can't teach you. I can't put your hand on the thigh. I can't tell you when to kiss on or nibble on her ear. All I can tell you is, at some point, you got to make a move and take a chance on her saying, you know what? This dude tried to have sex with me. Well, you're damn right. And if you don't like it, I love you, baby. Have a good trip home. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I ain't got no hard feelings, but I'm a grown man with desires. And once he, the hot clock hit 11 and 12, you right, I am gonna get the touching and feeling on you. And if she don't like it, tough titty. But with all that said, don't do a damn thing illegal. Don't go too far when a woman gets to saying, no, don't do that. Hey, that's no motherfucker, don't do it. So with all that said, man, uh, say, say goodbye to Mr. Nice Guy and you can get it. Because like you say, when you got these beautiful dogs, you best be happy. So, it's been j Dog King Hefner, the beautiful Saima Renee Uzamaki. Hit them subscriptions and notifications. We would definitely love you to join this journey. And uh, I do want to say, man, I appreciate all the uh, new subscribers that have joined over the last month or two. Uh, I haven't really got a chance to do a celebration show. I've been just so dialed in on... I'm talking about topics and whatnot, but I appreciate every single one of you guys. Love you. Hope you have a great weekend. And rest assured, we'll be back shortly. But for now, we are out.